federal judge says migrant children who are being held at a facility in Brazoria County have to be transferred somewhere else because the children were allegedly being given drugs without their parents agreeing to it or even knowing about yeah, it. This is all part of a class action lawsuit on behalf of kids at Shiloh Treatment Center. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joining us now live from Manville with more. Kathy, good morning to you. Well, good morning. The Shiloh Treatment Center houses migrant children, also helps children with behavioral and emotional problems. But that lawsuit is causing some concern, and now a judge wants changes. Disturbing allegations, the Shiloh Treatment Center in Manville coming under fire. In a class action lawsuit filed in April, children allege being forcibly medicated, assaulted, and restrained for long periods of time. A federal judge on Monday ruled Shiloh must remove all children in the lawsuit from their care unless they're found to pose a danger to themselves or others. According to the suit, children being held in these types of facilities are almost certain to be given psychotropic drugs like Prozac, regardless of their conditions and without their parents' consent. The suit alleges the drugs are used to manage trauma preemptively. Without consent, the judge ordered the facility may only administer such a drug only in emergency or under a court order. Thank you. We walked into the mobile home complex turned child care center, but an employee refused to answer our questions. Instead, he referred us to the Administration for Children and Families. Records show the Office of Refugee Resettlement has awarded the center $26 million in federal money in the last five years to operate, despite numerous claims. Unclear when it was posted, but the center's website says multiple agencies have audited the facility and, quote, all of the widely distributed allegations against Shiloh were found to be without merit. The children have been found to be properly cared for and treated. For years, Representative Pete Olson has called for Shiloh's closure amid abuse allegations. He sent us a statement saying, quote, the court's decision points out the dysfunction between ORR, the state of Texas, and the Shiloh employees. Enough is enough. For the sake of these children, Shiloh must be forever closed. No word right now on how many children this includes. On Friday, the same judge decided an independent monitor should assess conditions at facilities like Shiloh. We've reached out to the Administration for Children and Families and or that agency that funds Shiloh, but we have not yet heard back. Of course, we'll continue to follow this developing story. Reporting live in Manville, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Kathy, thank you.